A few days ago, I was reading the Bible. I was going to read a psalm. I was just going through the psalms. And then I was going to read the closing chapters of the Gospel of Luke. And I happened to be at Psalm 89. It's a long psalm. It's 52 verses long. And its main emphasis is that it talks about the promise of a Messiah, the promise of a Savior that the Jews were waiting for, who would be the Savior not only of the Jews, but of the whole world. And in particular, it stresses how God is faithful to his people. It goes through the history of, from Abraham all the way to David. And when it gets to David, it repeats God's promise to David that his descendants would reign on the throne as long as they were faithful to God. And this is a great psalm until you get to a very uplifting psalm, until you get to Psalm 38, and it says, but now you have rejected him, meaning David and his descendants. Why are you so angry with the one you chose as king? You have renounced your covenant with him, for you have thrown his crown in the dust. The psalmist is talking about how the descendants of David became worse and worse, drifted further and further from God, became unfaithful, were worshiping uh, idols, and it just brought disaster on the whole nation. And it appeared that God had forgotten about his promise to send the Messiah through the line of David. But the psalm ends this way, Lord, where is your unfailing love? You promised it to David with a faithful pledge. Consider, Lord, how your servants are disgraced, and carry in, I carry in my heart the insults of so many people. Your enemies have mocked me, O Lord. They mock the one you anointed as king. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and amen. With this psalm, told me on that day was how destitute the Jews felt because they were waiting for this Messiah. And when the kings proved unfaithful, they wondered, will Messiah ever come? That's half of what I learned that morning. Because then I read the closing chapters of Luke. And you can use this in regard to any of the ending chapters of of the Gospels, the chapters that talk about Jesus being arrested, him being tried, his being condemned to death, dying on the cross, and raising from the dead. What I'm suggesting is this. Read Psalm 89 and catch how much the Jews were longing for Messiah to come. And then read out of any one of the four Gospels those chapters to tell the final story of Jesus. And you'll, you'll sense how deeply they were longing and hoping that Jesus was the one, the Messiah, and how disappointed they were when he was arrested, condemned, and crucified. How distraught they were. And then how hope returned when Jesus rose from the dead. I encourage you to do that, just to see how much the Lord moves your heart through that exercise. He moved my heart deeply. I'm letting you know about this so that you can try it yourself and see how the Lord touches you as you sense the great longing for Messiah, the great regret that maybe it's not Jesus, and the great certainty of discovering, yes, it is Jesus. He's the Messiah. He's our Savior. He's come to be our King, and God is faithful to His, to his covenant promises.